This fountain is essentially the very famous Heron's fountain. You require three plastic bottles, some flexi tubes, some sieve straws. Now apply glue on two lids and stick them back to back. And then with the scissors make a small hole in both the lids. And then take a long stiff straw and press fit it in this hole. There should be no leakage of water or air from this joint. Now screw on two bottles on the two lids so that the long end of the straw is on the top bottle and the short on the bottom bottle. Now cut a third bottle into half. Apply glue on the base of the top bottle wait for a while for the glue to dry up and then stick the top bottle on the top of the space. Make two holes and two more holes. Now make four holes with the help of a scissors to attach the bottles with flexi tube. This is the middle and the top bottle being attached and now you attach the top bottle to the bottom bottle with the flexi tube. Now apply Fevi bond on all the joints. This is the kind of rubber adhesive which will seal the joints. No water would leak out from these joints. Wait for a while for the glue to dry. Now this is the entire assembly in a perspective. This is the whole assembly. Two flexi tube outsides. Now add colored water to the cut bottle and through the right side tube it will go to the base bottle. Once the bottom bottle is full of colored water, upturn the apparatus and water from the top bottle will automatically gravitate to the middle bottle This is a kind of preparation for the experiment to start. Once the middle bottle is full, upturn the apparatus and now the real experiment starts. Now as you add some little water to the cut bottle, it will go to the bottom bottle. Air would be expelled from there, come to the middle bottle and the water from there, from the middle bottle will come out of the top bottle like a fountain and this fountain will keep continuing for a considerable length of time. It's a very simple and amazing experiment. Until the middle bottle gets drained out, the fountain will continue to work. See this once again. Add some little water to the top bottle. It will come to the bottom bottle and air from there will be expelled to the middle bottle water from the middle bottle will come out as a fountain on top of the cut bottle and this will continue until the middle bottle gets drained out. You can see children enjoying this very beautiful heron's fountain. You can also put the flexi tube inside the fat bottles. And here is a small orifice 